Now, is it me or is that sky normal? It doesn't look normal to me. I don't know what's happened to the planet. I do know what's happened to the planet. The human race has happened to the planet. But we get some really freaky weather now, some really freaky storms. And those clouds are absolutely horrifying. And the wind has picked up, so we're going to have a hurricane any second. Which is what normally happens. There goes the lightning again. If this, if this hits, I think we're all going to die. No, they don't like it. And they, look at it over there. Nothing. I mean, these really are isolated storms, but by God, are they aggressive? They're horrifying. I love storms, but they frighten me. The storms we get here. Poor pony and my mares are out in this. They haven't got any head collars on, they haven't got any shoes on, so there's no fear of them being electrocuted, but I've still known horses being hit by lightning and cows. So I'll uh, video later when it hits, when I'm safely under the overhang of the house. See what happens. Just look at this lot coming. Stormed last night. It's a storm again tonight. So everybody has to be shut in early. This is like the end of the world. I got stuck out in the stables for an hour and a half last night and absolutely threw it down. I have never seen anything like it in my life. But there we are. Another one. So here I am, outside. It looks like an atom bomb's gone off there. Collecting the guinea fowl eggs from under the bush. And I am going to get absolutely soaked any second. And look at all that hay. 41 bales. The farmer didn't bother to get them in, so they are now completely ruined. That was some lightning there. I'll keep this running for a bit. See if we can get some spectacular shots. There was one hell of a fork just now. I can keep the damn thing still. While I bend down and pick up eggs. The good news is though, the lunatic speckled hen has gone broody again. She's sitting in the guinea fowl house at the moment on, I don't know how many chicken eggs, but she can stay in there, sitting on those eggs. And what I'll do, I'll uh, pick her up tomorrow morning, put her in the stables, shut her in with the boiled eggs, for 24 hours if I have to, until she realises that that's where she's going to stay and then she can have the, the last guinea fowl eggs. So I found myself, I hope, somebody to brood them. She hasn't got to sit for very long. Old Maud's waiting for it to hit. Got pinned on her back. Oh, a guinea on her back has slid off. She doesn't seem to like storms, old Maudie. These babies, you can't really see them, it's too dark. No, it's too dark. So the little turkeys are outside looking very concerned. This lot aren't bothered much. Little old black tail's, black tail? No tail's gone into her bed. She's just blown this lot for a lark with her babies. Hey old girl. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Babies are all hiding and snug. Yeah, here comes the hurricane. Got all the doors shut. Because it piles in through there. Shut the top door of the stable. You want my beauts? Yeah. She's snuckled down. All right, old girl. Yeah. I'm going to leave the lights on for a bit. Yeah, my lady. So, yet again, let's see what it's doing out here. God, it's horrible. And that awful cloud just sort of disperses. Well, I suppose it's up there a bit. 
but then the rain comes from those clouds there. Lightning's coming for us and I'm standing by a metal door. Not the best thing to do. But not funny. I say I absolutely adore storms. I get great bursts of energy from storms. It gets the old adrenaline going. But the storms we've been having lately scare the whatnot out of me. They really do. Touch wood. Oh, I haven't got any wood to touch. Touch a plant. We haven't had any power cuts. Oh, I'll be wandering around with all the eggs. Got my t-shirt again as normal. But they, re they really are scary. No, I'm going here. Oh, the wind. Oh, get out of here, shop. Just get the hell out of here. Get inside. Right. Okay, babies, I'm afraid you're going to be left your own devices now. Yeah. I'm going in. I was too late. Don't know if you can see it driving. That's lightning. The rain is something else. Absolutely something else. The wind's blowing in my freaking face. Just look at that lot. I have never in my life witnessed anything like this two nights running. This is horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. The turkey mums are screaming. Absolutely awful. And I'm stuck in the goddamn barn. And I'm getting wet even halfway into the barn. This is ridiculous. And my poor mares are out in this. So is my stallion. So is the pony and the sheep. Fortunately, I've shut everybody in. I just did that just right. Can't even see over there visibility oh, 50 yards maybe 80 and that's pure rain that's it little sparrow you come in protect yourself here that's driving rain absolutely horrific and there's no way I'm going to get out of here for the next 20 minutes if not more can't even get into the tack room. Where I'll feel a bit safer. Whoa. I'm getting quite nervous now. I'll admit, I am getting very nervous being in here. Very nervous indeed. Corrugated asbestos roof, roof I think it is metal stanchions. Oh, metal you can't see, metal rafters. I'm going to turn my light on because I'm so scared. And I'm going to turn that light on. Yeah, metal. Metal beams. There's the rain. What would be a good thing with this storm? If the roof actually blew off. Because it's the only roof on the place that's insured. And I could get a nice spanking new roof. That would please me. But it won't be that roof that gets destroyed. It'd be the barn or the tobacco drying shed roof. Because that leaks like a sieve anyway. Put the water pouring off of that. So I'll have water pouring into the storeroom there and onto everything inside the barn. Is this gonna stop or is it just gonna get worse? I'm I really am getting very nervous. And it doesn't look like it's going to lessen at all. So we're we'll going to see what what the turkeys are doing. 
into the black hole of Calcutta. Oh, that was a big one. Oh heavens, got a leak. Turn the light on. Alright, baby, is it? The rain, oh god, the rain's driving in through the door. Jesus Christ! Alright, Maudie. Alright, old girl. Jesus. Oh yeah, that, that's that's going to be so effective, isn't it? Oh Jesus, I've got leaks coming every... Oh, don't even bother. Don't even bother. What a joke. I haven't got that in the right place. I need a bucket, I haven't got a bucket. Christ. Excuse my language, but this this seriously ticks me off this sort of crap. You alright, old girl? Yeah. Yeah, you're just quiet, aren't you boys? Driving in through here. So it's driving in the front and it's driving in the back. Driving down the door on the inside. Running down the door on the inside. I've always said water travels uphill in France. Paper doesn't burn, matches won't light. And I'm right. That water runs down the inside of a door. And that is just a joke. That is being pushed up under the overlap. There's no crack. It's just being pushed up under the overlap. What a joke. What an absolute joke. Driving on the inside of the barn door. You can't see that, it's too dark. But you can see it running down the inside of the barn door. He can't touch my hay. My daughter running to rescue me. <laughs> Where have you gone, dear? She's come to rescue me. Hey, yeah, what? Downstairs, loose flooded. Oh well. Have you got everything up off the floor? No, I came out here. I saw you getting like that. So I came out here. You got the floor. Well, whoa! This is getting worse. Right, and apparently my grandsons are having a, a fit, so I've got to run for it. Right, I'll pick it up again in the house. Right, we got the power back, put the eggs back. Um, now we're going to assess the damage. Sick chicken. Flooded floor. Dark. Yeah. All down the wall, absolutely soaked. So, floor absolutely soaked. And the storm's still raging. You've even got part of my wisteria in here where it's blown through. I don't know where the storm's still going on, I think. No, it's subsiding. But I've got to go back outside again because I left the light on in the tack room. But there we are. So, normality has been resumed for the moment. Judy didn't like it either. He was really scared. So was, li so was Little Prince. Little Prince was screaming. I had to keep talking to him. Because I couldn't do anything about his feet to calm him because I couldn't heat, the, heat his feet up. I know the eggs down my front. You right now, Rudes? Yeah? Yeah, okay? Okay, Rudes? Yeah. 
Bob Rosa, normality again, dear. You're all right. You're safe. You'll live. My little grandson. Don't put your fingers in here, bite you. My other little grandson. He'll bite you. He'll bite you. He'll attack. Yeah. He's aggravated. Yeah. <laughs>